Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to delete the upper filters and lower filters on your Windows computer. So, this is often the fix for different kinds of hardware problems that generate device manager codes on Windows. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. Now, we are going to be working in the Windows registry, so I would recommend creating a backup before you proceed with any registry modifications. So I'm just going to open up the start menu. You want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should say regedit. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, select yes by left clicking on it one time. Now you want to expand the H key local machine folder here. So either double click on the folder twice or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. Once you've done that, you want to go down to System, so expand the System folder here. Now you want to do it for Current Control Set. I'm going to make the side here a little wider so we can see where we're going. So again, Current Control Set. Now you want to do the same thing for Control, so I just expanded the Control window here. And now you want to left click on the Class key, so just left click on Class one time here. So your screen should resemble what mine is at this moment. Now that you've done that, you want to expand the class key here. So make the side a little wider here again, just so we can see exactly where we're going. So at this point, you want to determine and click on the correct class GUID. So each one of these registry keys corresponds to a globally unique identifier representing a different kind of hardware on your computer. So you need to find out which GUID or hardware that you're seeing in Device Manager error code is the issue here. So let's just assume that you've already identified that and we're going to locate which one our issue is. So let's just assume it's this one right here. So now that you have the lower and upper filters right here, all you have to do to delete it would be to right click on the lower filter and then left click on delete. You're going to have to confirm the value deletion and then you would do the same thing for the upper filter right here. And once you've confirmed that, you want to close out of the registry editor. And now I would check to see if that has resolved the issue you were experiencing beforehand. Now if that did not resolve the problem, I would recommend taking a look at System Restore as well. See if you have any restore points. I notice that can be a resolution as well. So take a look at that and hopefully that should resolve your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.